Well, hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video, I usually would say, is going to be a fun one right here, but I'm not gonna lie, today's video is a little scary for me personally because we are going to be going through every single book on my physical TBR. I have never counted how many books I have not read from my bookshelves before, so I genuinely have no idea, but I am gonna try and guess here in a second, but yeah. Basically, in today's video, we are going to be going through my big bookshelf right here and then my two shelves right here and counting every book I have not yet read, but I physically own. As I go through these books, I think I'm gonna give like, maybe like a reason of why I haven't read it if I have one. But keep in mind that I just filmed that book haul of having 18 books. So a lot of these books are probably gonna be from that video. Well, at least 18 of them. I don't know how many books I haven't read. Obviously, we're gonna find out today. If I had to guess just by looking at these, I think I'm gonna say an even 50. I think we're just gonna go, I think I have 50 unread books on my bookshelves. I'm scared that that's too low, but let's go find out. Actually, first, let me just say I have read all of the five. Oh wait, no, I have not. <laughs> That's a lie. I have read four of those Akatar books, so I still have that last one, A Court of Silver Flames, to read. Wow, I really thought I'd read them all. Maybe I should get on that. <laughs> okay, first shelf has been taken care of. I'm not gonna lie, there's more books on that shelf that I haven't read versus I have read. So I don't think we're starting off on a great note, but let's let's get into that first shelf so as i showed y'all in the last video i have the two magnolia parks books i literally just got these so i have not read them i don't know when i'll read them um i don't know if there's like a specific season to read these but i am excited so yeah we have magnolia parks and the long way home by jessa hastings okay and next i have three books by jasmine guillory I have read one by her before, so I am excited to get into these, but I think she writes in third person. Yep, and I hate that. So that's probably honestly why I haven't got to these, but we have the wedding date, the wedding party, and the proposal. I think that these two go hand in hand, like they're in the same series or whatnot, but I'm not sure if the proposal is. I'll have to do more research and find that out. Next, I have Summer of 69 by Ellen Hildebrand. Is it Elin? Is it Ellen? I can't remember. I'm sorry. But I, I, I tried to read this the other day, but I was hoping that it was on, like I could read it in audiobook form and I could not find that. So I guess I gave up, but I do want to pick this up. But if I don't do so in the next few weeks, it'll probably be until next summer. Okay, and next we have Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover. I actually have picked this up before and I DNF'd it for the time being. I just could not get into it. And since then, I've heard bad things about this book, about like specific tropes and whatnot. And the main character's name is Sydney and she's my age. Basically, I just wasn't, I wasn't vibing with this and I'm not sure if I will. So maybe eventually this will be in an unhaul or maybe I'll pick it up again, I don't know. Okay, and then we have After I Do by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I do want to pick this up. This is a book I am excited to get to. Because I, I feel like a lot of these I haven't picked up because they don't draw my attention as much as they did when I initially bought them. But I am really excited to get to this. I love all of her books, so I feel like I'm saving this for a time where I kind of want to read something by her. Okay, and next we have The Jet Setters. I, I don't know why I haven't read this. I think I looked it up on Goodreads and it didn't have a great rating. Not that I should let that affect if I'm going to read the book or not, but yeah, I don't even remember buying this, but it's in great condition, so. And then last from that shelf, we have Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez. I just got this book in that book haul as well, so I will be picking this one up soon. Okay, and then from the next shelf, I have a lot of nonfiction, like self-help, personal growth type books. So I'm going to fly through these real quick, but I am in the mood to read one of these. So I will probably pick one of these up within the next two weeks, which is exciting. We have 10% Happier by Dan Harris. We have Finding Joy by Charlotte Davis Castle, I think. And then we have 30 Days to a More Powerful Vocabulary and Trust Your Vibes. 
and my boyfriend and my dad got me these so are they trying to tell me something do i need to work on myself no i'm kidding but i am excited to get to those and then as for non-fiction from that shelf we have we'll always have summer by jenny han i just picked up the first two books of this series so i know i'll get to this probably within the next month then we have true believer by nicholas sparks i threw this in here because i'm not sure if i read this i might have read it in high school so maybe i would pick it up again or maybe i would just unhaul it i'm not sure but yeah then we have the dead romantics by ashley poston poston i have been meaning to read this for so long and i actually just checked it out through libby so i have 14 days to read this if i want to read it on my kindle so maybe that'll motivate me then we have love theoretically by ali hazelwood i love ali hazelwood and i'm honestly saving this book for like when i need it if i'm in a slump or something because i know this is going to be four stars and above so yeah and then the last two books from that shelf are the spanish love deception and the american roommate experiment by elena armas i need to read these i've been putting these off this one specifically forever and then i just got this i need to read these please tell me in the comments to read these unless you don't like them then tell me not to but yeah <laughs> okay and for the next shelf i think this one's our worst one yet mainly because i have the shatter me series on here and so obviously there's five books that i haven't read right out the gate but i will be getting to these soon then i have from blood and ash by jennifer l armand trout this book is so big i don't think i knew how big it was oh it's really not oh wait yeah it is <laughs> it's like 600 pages at least it's floppy but my excuse for this book is number one that it's huge and number two that i'll probably be saving it for the fall winter time because that's just i feel like fantasy is better in that time of year same excuse for this book we have legends and lattes by travis baldry and i am really excited to get to this i feel like this is all the fall vibes it's a cozy mystery i'll definitely be reading this in the next few months okay and then next we have some books of the vampire academy series except we actually don't i bought this thinking it was the first book and it's not it's just it's an ultimate guide and it's not actually the first book like i thought it was so i will be unhauling this one and then randomly i have the third book in the series so i need to acquire the first two and then i can get to this but yeah okay and speaking of vampires i have twilight and new moon i'm putting these on here because like yes i know i've read these in the past but i was also a child so i would like to reread these even though these are huge too but i am excited and then same goes for this book this is catching fire suzanne collins i'm sure i've read this as a child but I don't remember it and I would like to get all the Hunger Games books and reread them. And then lastly, there was a stray nonfiction. This is Hero on a Mission by Donald Miller. I actually have picked this up before. I don't know how far into it I got, but I guess I just wasn't in the mood. But it is fairly short, so maybe I could pick this up again and finish it. And that concludes the bookshelves. So now I will be grabbing the books from my shelves, which honestly, it, it's not good. It's not pretty. That shelf, I've read like none of the books. So this will be fun. Guys, look at how empty that shelf is now. This is embarrassing. But regardless, let's get into it. First up, we have the Cruel Prince trilogy. Doesn't this have a different name for it? Like the Folk of the Air, the Folk of the Air series by Holly Black. I will get to these, I promise. I just obviously haven't been in the mood, but yeah, I'm sure this fall I will get to these. Honestly, that's probably gonna be my excuse with all of these, so just beware. Okay, next we have the Infernal Devices series by Cassandra Clare. Honestly, I have not picked these up because I'm not sure what the rating order is. I need to figure out if I can start with the Infernal Devices or if I have to read the other one. What is it? Also, I like to buy secondhand a lot and I got all three of these secondhand and they are in great condition. So that's part of the reason I bought these up even though I wasn't in the mood to read them right away. Same with these. I bought these secondhand and they are the hardcovers of Six of Crows. They are in great condition and I remember thinking this was such a win when I found these but 
yeah. Six of Crows duology by Lee Bardugo. I am excited to pick these up because everyone loves these. Okay, and then next I have a stack of books that is going to be featured in my next video. So this is kind of something to look forward to. I have five books here and I have read, or I'm going to read a few of these in the next video. I'm not going to say which ones, but stay tuned for that video to find out which one of these I've read. Okay, something to be proud of here. That's the shelf I just pulled from and I only have five books unread on it. So that's a win. A lot of these are the book of the month books that I have purchased secondhand. This is Things You Save in a Fire by Catherine Center. Oh, I didn't realize this was by Catherine Center. I feel like everyone is hyping up her Hello Stranger book right now. So now that I know that this is from her, I'm much more inclined to pick this up. Next, we have the X Hex. I am so excited to read this. I will probably be rereading this. I don't know if I want to save this for September or October, but I'll definitely be reading this in one of those months. I've been waiting to read this for so long. Okay, and then we have This Time Next Year by Sophie Cousins. Cousins? I don't know if that's how you say your last name. And then we have Troubles in Paradise by Ellen Hildebrand. I need to read this as well. Just haven't picked it up. Yeah. All right, and then for the last book on my physical TBR, we have Lessons in Chemistry by Barney Garmus. I know that this was one of the most popular books in 2022, and so I was super happy to find this secondhand, and I am excited to get to this when I'm in the mood to. But honestly, I love historical fictions, so hopefully I love this one too. No way. No way. Plus 13, plus 11, plus five. Are you kidding me? Dude, that's crazy. Y'all, I feel like y'all are gonna think I cheated. I swear to y'all, I did not cheat, but I seriously have 50 books on my physical TBR. I know that I should be sad because that's a lot of books, but I'm so happy because I got that right. I cannot believe I guessed right. Okay, well, I'm still honestly freaked out by that, but please leave me a comment down below telling me what books from the 50 I just went through that I should read ASAP because 50 is a very big number and I would like to cut that down. And I've been averaging like 12 books a month recently, so I could theoretically knock that out by the end of the year, which would be really exciting. Imagine if I started my year, like 2024, with no books on my TBR, that would be kind of exciting. So yeah, if I actually wanna make that a goal, please let me know which books I should start with first because I do think that that would be really cool. And then we could do like a book haul in 2024. And yeah, I honestly still feel like I'm on that high of getting that number right. I don't know why that's affecting me so much, but I'm honestly in a really good mood now. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Like I said, leave that comment down below. I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're reading a good book and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye guys.